Uh, I'm writing a book. Anyways, I wanted to hop into these two groups, uh, Critical Path Leadership Academy. So for those of you in the membership and also the lead from the inside out group, um, I just posted in um, on Facebook and Instagram a pretty, uh, pretty exciting announcement, at least for me. Uh, I'm writing a book. And uh, uh, I did write one a few years ago. And uh, just to give you a little bit of uh, perspective on that one, it was, uh, or it is called the uh, 1100 Leadership Solution. And the premise around that one is, or was, um, uh, if you can improve even 1% each day, then by the end of the year, you know, 365 days, uh, you'll have experienced exponential growth in your leadership. And I talked about uh, vulnerability and empathy and compassion and, and uh, stress management and those kinds of things. And that was really a, um, an articulation of the, the four pillars of the solution that I felt were important for leadership. But that was a few years ago. And I, I don't remember, it was probably 2017-ish when I really um, sat down to, to write that. Now, over, you know, in, in that period of time, I've done a whole bunch more work, both, um, you know, outer work in terms of, you know, continuing to lead and, and those sorts of things, but also, um, uh, but also really honing in on my message and talking to, to a whole bunch of other, other folks. And this is going to be very meta, but thinking about what I thought about things. And 2020, one of the most common memes or uh, comments that I saw was, uh, you know, use 2020 to evaluate what you're going to go back to. And I really took that to heart. And as a lot of you know, um, just on a personal side, pretty shitty year for sure, like so many people. So I'm not crying the blues by any stretch and saying that my situation was better or worse or anything like that. I often say that 2020 for me was it was all about growth. It was about stress, frustration, plenty of WTF moments, and a whole bunch of gratitude. And all of that could be experienced in one one morning. Um, so, and I, I think that's that's something that a lot of us can uh, can acknowledge and uh, you know hitch our wagon to for sure. Now, I but this book, uh, well, Happy New Year, Happy New Year to everybody that's watching, and so. You know, I've been playing with the idea of writing another book, and when I wrote the first one, it was um, it wasn't it was important to me, of course, because it's a lot of work. It really, really is. Um, but like so many things, I didn't know what I didn't know. I didn't know what I didn't know about the book writing process, about the publishing, I self published, printing, uh, formatting. You know, just it runs the gamut, and I did imperfect action for sure, even to the point where I think one of the drafts that went out or one of the, the final versions went, that went out, it had like a duplicate section in it. And a friend of mine, Dale Gardner, pointed that out once, you know, the first run was printed. He's like, uh, I don't know if you meant to put the same section in two different spots, but FYI. So luckily through the magic of technology, I was able to, you know, edit that and, and figure that out. But anyways, it was like, um, but but this this the book I'm I'm embarking on is different in that this one is it feels really visceral, and by that I mean like I can actually feel it right here, and that, and that maybe sounds really woo woo or crazy or you know whatever, and, and frankly, it is what it is. I'm just being clear and transparent and vulnerable for that matter, and I've really wanted to you know a lot of people are, are have asked like how do you how do you get through some of the things that you've been going through? Not again, because it's any different or worse than anybody else, but there's a real need to figure out how to navigate the challenges that um, have arisen from 2020 and just in general around leadership and, and personal growth and all of those other things. And as a lot of you know, I'm all about leading from the inside out and any situation, any leadership situation I've been in, whether it be, in the 30 plus years of emergency management crisis leadership, uh, most recently I've been um, embarking on a, a project with a large multinational agency that uh, is assisting that agency with some COVID uh, related 
uh, projects, and it's been very, very, very interesting, very challenging. And so I'm continuing to be a practitioner in it, but it still causes me to to reflect that every single leadership situation I've ever been in and ever will be in, it all starts with me. It starts from the inside. So my ability to um, self-regulate my emotions, my thoughts, how I communicate with other people, the leadership presence that I uh, that I have around me, the the building the team rapidly and people that are working virtually. The list goes on and on and on, you know, decision making, th those sorts of things. And so, but with that comes a heavy dose of, you know, not only is it leading from the inside out and, and self-control and all those other things, but it goes beyond that. It goes around, how do we, how do we think about things? You know, how do we adopt a growth mindset when we're stressed out, pissed off and, and all seems lost, all of those other things. And so the book I'm embarking upon uh, will encapsulate a lot of those things. And to me, why am I doing it? Well, one, sucker for punishment, I suppose. But also for me, writing is therapeutic, like I journal often and, and so on and so forth. And so for me, it's, it's, uh, it's going to be a good process. It's somewhat selfish in that regard, but uh, I don't think I'm, I'm unique. I'm not alone. In fact, I know I'm not unique and I know I'm not alone. A lot of people are struggling with the same things I've been struggling with on the personal side and professional. And so uh, the what's going to be different about this rather you know, versus the thousands of other titles that you can see at Chapters or Indigo or Amazon or whatever. Well, this is all about a practitioner's guide. It's all about minimal viable effort, having the most impact with the least amount in the least amount of time with the least amount of effort. Because to me, leadership is about the moment, you know, those difficult moments, navigating those. Leadership's easy when everything's going well and the road is straight, it's daylight, your your lights are working, your windshield's clear, <clears throat> no problemo. But to me, what leadership is really about it is is being able to navigate the turns in the road. Figuring out how to drive the car or have somebody drive the car with you looking after it when the lights aren't working as well, or the windshield maybe is pretty cracked, or you're building the car as you're driving it, or the road conditions are bad. There's potholes, there's turns, there's all sorts of things. And that to me is what leadership is all about. And I don't, when I'm in those moments, when I'm leading a team, when I am uh, embarking on a leadership journey, there's no time for me to talk or think about the, the, the academia around leadership and influence and all those other things. And I think that that's a big gap in the market. It's a big gap in our knowledge base. It's a big gap in, in our awareness and consciousness, frankly. And leadership doesn't, doesn't have to be really, really hard if we know the, the rules around it. And that's really what I want to do is I want to articulate what are those rules? What are the, 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 the methods or method around navigating those those tight turns and, and avoiding those potholes or if you get a pothole um, you know how do you recover from it as quickly as possible all of those sorts of things so it's going to be based around my critical path leadership method and it will be um, it will be a practitioner's guide again it will be something that is useful in the moment it's something that you can read and take away and apply right away much like any, everything else that that we're learning, whether it be in the the membership or just uh, you know on my po podcast or whatever the case is, so I want to to let you know that. And um, so it's December third, one eighteen Mountain Standard Time. Uh, I do have a timeline in my head in terms of when this thing will be released. Um, I'm not that bold or crazy to uh, publicize that yet, but. Um, yeah, I wanted to let everyone know how uh, how excited I am. And um, just basically, this can be a, a piece of personal accountability. So feel free to hold my feet to the fire and uh, and that sort of thing.